Hi, I'm David Tejada and I'm here at the Foursquare Studios and I have a very nice tip for you and I'm going to show you how I set up my Nikon D800 and D7000 so that with a single push of a button I will bring up on the back of my LCD screen my flash commander menu so I'll have control of overall my speed lights. Let's run through those menu controls for both the D800 and the D7000. I'm going to now walk you through the steps to program your Nikon D7000 so that when you press the function button on the front of your camera, the commander, flash commander mode will show up on the back of your LCD screen. Let's go through those steps. Let's bring up the menu and you'll notice that this is actually two steps. We're going to place an item into my menu list and this is the icon down here at the very bottom looks like a clipboard to me with a little check mark and you see here on the right it says add items let's go ahead and do that we're going to scroll to the right we're going to move down to customs setting menu move to the right i'm going to scroll down to item e bracketing and flash move to the right and I'm going to scroll down a couple steps down here. E3 is the flash control for the built-in flash. We're going to move to the right. And we're going to select the very bottom item here. It's called the commander mode. And we're going to press OK. And you see here we've got uh, commander mode is now in the top item. It's the only item right now in my list. All right. So now we've successfully placed it there. The commander mode is at number one position. So now let's go into part two of the programming. And we are now going to program the function button on the front of your camera so that when you press it, the commander mode will come up. We're going to go to the custom setting menu. This is the little pencil icon on the far left side. We're going to scroll to the right and we're going to move down to controls, item F on the D7000. Scroll to the right. And we're going to go down to F3, Assign Function Button. And you see here it has a little tiny icon on the right side of the uh, My Menu list. We're going to go to the right. And the first thing highlighted is Access Top Item in My Menu. And that's exactly what we want this function to do. So we're going to say OK. We're going to get out of the menu. And as I press the Function Button on the front of the camera, you see the commander mode shows up instantly on the back of the LCD screen. So these are the steps that I take in order to program my auto exposure lock, auto focus lock button to bring up my commander mode. This is actually a two-step process and we'll go through these very slowly and easily for you. First we're going to press the menu button and on the back of the LCD screen you will see uh, items down the side here. Right now we are in the shooting menu, we're going to drop down to the very bottom item here. It looks like a clipboard to me with a small check mark on it. It's called My Menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to place an item in My Menu list. If you scroll to the right, you'll come into the menu items for choice, and I move down to Add Items. You'll want to scroll to the right, and you'll move down to Customs Setting Menu. It's the third item down on the list. Scroll to the right. You'll want to move down to Item E. This is going to be your bracketing and flash controls. We'll move to the right. We're going to move on down until I see a certain item. Oh, I just passed it up. I see it here. It's Item 3 or E3, Flash Control for Built-in Flash. We'll move to the right and we'll move down to the very bottom where it says Commander Mode. And we're going to press OK. Now, my Commander Mode I've placed into My Menu list. When you place a new item in My Menu, it automatically puts it at the top of the list. So you see here, I have the Commander Mode on the top. I have other items inside my My Menu list, but we've just added the Commander Mode and it now appears at the top of the My Menu list. 
So let's go ahead and get out of this mode. And this is part two of actually programming the auto exposure lock and auto focus lock button to bring up that commander mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up to the pencil icon, custom setting menu. Scroll to the right and I want you to come all the way down here to F for controls. Scroll to the right and you're going to keep scrolling down to you see F6. Now this is on a D800 remember so this says assign the auto exposure lock auto focus lock button and that's what we want to do. I'm going to scroll to the right and the very top item highlighted in yellow on the next screen is the auto exposure lock auto focus lock button press and it shows a little tiny icon of the my menu list. We're going to scroll to the right and the very top item it says access top item on my menu. We want that and it says press OK. So now as we press the auto exposure lock auto focus lock button the flash control for the built-in flash and the command module shows up on the back of my camera. And since I use flash quite a bit with my commercial work and the workshops that I conduct, when I'm using flash, I make certain that the top item on my menu list is at the top and I make sure that I can access it by just pressing this button here. It makes it much faster than digging through the menus looking for this particular function. I hope you found this tip useful and helpful for you. Thanks for stopping by. This is David Tejada from Foursquare Studios. We'll see you next time.